Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another important experiment in physics that is experiment on verification of Ohm's law. You will still remember what Ohm's law states that potential difference known as voltage is directly proportional to what? Current. Yes. Potential difference directly proportional to current. And so V equals to what? R what? I. Where that R is constant. The R is constant called effective resistance. So this experiment is to verify. Is it true that voltage or potential difference is directly proportional to current? That is the higher the potential difference, the higher the current. That is what we want to verify. Or whether we will be getting the higher the current, the lower the potential difference. Or whether you will be getting the higher the potential difference, the lower the what current. We want to verify that in this experiment. And so it is to the investigate how the potential difference V across a resistor varies with the current that flows through it in order to determine the resistance of the what resistor. This is the circuit diagram, the setup. Are you getting it? Where this is the standard resistor. The ammeter, the cell, the K, the variable resistor of what we call real start, and the voltage. Now, look at the apparatus. Yes, we can use a variable resistor which could be in the form of a real start. Or we use five one home resistor by one. Add another one, two. Add another one, three. Add another one, four. That means we will be using... The formula E equals to what? I bracket R plus what? R. We are here. This one home resistor will be taken to be our internal what? Resistor. Yes. Because real start of variable resistor measures internal resistor. Uh, internal resistance of the circuit. Are you getting it? So we'll be taking our R to be this one home and all of you okay one home two home three home four home five home as the case may be the i we have to get so a cell three volts the e is three volts electromotive force is three volts are you getting it let's see the procedure connect the circuit as shown set the sliding contact of the real start at a point so that it enables a measurable current through the circuit Connect only one resistor from this chain into the circuit with the key closed. Read and record. Now, this is for us to follow. We are to follow this if we are to perform this experiment live and direct. But the essence of this video is to see how we can get these readings without what, touching the apparatus. And so, to get the reading, we say that E is what? Three. We will use two formulas to get our values e equal to I bracket R plus R, where this is the external resistance and this is internal resistance and this is current. We also use V equal to I what R. Let's see. E is 3. Now, when we perform this experiment, the standard resistance Thanks. Give it the standard resistor given to us is 1.5 ohm, and so we we'll use it throughout the experiment without varying it. It is standard. Are you getting it? 1.5 plus what? One. The next one will be we change this one to two, we change this one to three, and so on. That is how to do it. So we now say this plus this is 2.5. Use it to divide three. We have 3 divided by 2.5. That will be giving you 1.2. I equal to 1.2. What will be your V? V equal to IR. That is 1.2 times 1.5. Okay? 1.2 times 1.5. 1.8. We have here 1.80. We have here 1.20. We have started putting our values. Okay? So, that is how we follow to get other ones and 
see how to plot the graphs and all of you. So to watch the full videos, please don't forget to click the Chidon's Academy Practicals. Click again the Chidon's Academy Practical on YouTube and watch the full video. Okay?